Yeah, well, for that time? I don't know if it was drug induced or just my system mm -hmm. had shut down. I had mm -hmm. lost a great deal of blood and part of that damage resulted in the loss of my vision uh, from that accident. Not total blindness, but loss of the optical nerves, 90% uh, loss. 90% yeah. loss yeah. of sight. Even yeah. today, Joe? Yes. That, well, yeah. that's another miracle in itself. Yeah. Um, yes, they don't know whether it was upon um, impact or between the multiple surgeries, but his, um, his blood pressure plummeted. And in the result of that, even though they had him on medication and monitoring him, the blood flow doesn't go to the optical nerves and they started dying. Oh. So in the midst of all the surgeries and finally we got to the eyesight and I knew that maybe something was wrong because his eyes were wide open all the time and heavily dilated and I thought maybe it was the medication. But as it progressed, I knew something was wrong and insisted that they check his eyes. And Plus, I couldn't follow movement in no. the room, and so it. Um, the recovery was in itself a miracle. I, I had uh, facial reconstruction the first hours of surgery um, after they stabilized me, which they did not know whether I'd get through the first two mm -hmm. nights. Um, Your face was pretty smashed. My face was split in half, basically. Um, I my chin was uh, split in half. My palate was broken. My right cheek excuse me, my left cheek was crushed, my jaw was broken in three places and pushed back up into the ear canal, mm -hmm. and I had seven teeth knocked out. And um, Now the funny, it's they, not funny, but the peculiar thing is y your driver's license was somehow exactly, lost. Exactly, my yeah. wallet was lost at the scene. At the and scene, the so they doctors, didn't know what you were supposed Exactly, what the doctors reconstructed like. my face going by what they had, not by what I looked like. And. Um, how, how do you think they did? I think I look better. <laughs> my wife, my wife says I, I look about the same. There are some changes. Uh, the width, the width of my nose it is a amazing. little bit more so, and uh, the chin is a little more pronounced now because that's metal, basically. Oh um, in fact, you have quite a bit of metal in you yes, now. Yes. Yes. Not just in your Not face. Not just my face. No. The oh. the first facial. Excuse me. The first surgery was facial reconstruction. Um, I think it was five days later, and I'm going by what I was told. I was not I aware of any of this. Uh, the next surgery was to rebuild my pelvis. Uh, my surgeons explained to this, the damage as someone took a sledgehammer and knocked out the center of my pelvis. Mm -hmm. the, um, they had to rebuild my pelvis with chain across the, whole, the front to hold it back together and long screws to join the pieces that were broken and many pins. And that's all still in there, and it's, Bill? Well, they some of it is. I've had numerous surgeries to remove some of it because there was uh, issues with interference with my rehabilitation. And um, one screw particularly caused an infection which uh, set me back a little bit in my recovery time. but the machine that they placed me on, the, the technology today is what basically that and the talents that God gave these surgeons uh, brought me back to where I am. Wow, a long, long journey and a lot of pain. A lot of pain. Crying out in yeah, pain, despite pain. morphine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, the um, one thing I wanted to say though to back up was about his eyesight. Um, when we did finally get him, and that was very difficult to get him transported to have his eyes checked, and um, the doctor said what he had explained how the optical nerves died, but what he had is what he had. He was better than a blind person that he wouldn't walk into a wall. And that's pretty harsh mm. to take right mm. away. And so he just agreed and nodded. And when we mm. got back to the room, um, I took his hand after we got him situated back in bed. And I said, honey, we're in this together. You have to talk to me. I cannot read your mind. And um, he said, it sounds pretty bleak, pretty rough, but he said, I'm trusting God. And three days later, he was laying there and he fell asleep and he um, had the TV off over to the side and was still going. Over the, over the bed because I was unable to move uh, for many, many weeks. And at this point, he could not see anything on the TV. It was just flex of light. And, um, he just cried out to God, and when he woke up, he 
brought the TV, will you tell him? Uh, I had kind of wanted to get interested in the presidential debates in, in the U.S. at this time. And the television had uh, a, a remote control, so I just hit the mute and, and fell asleep. I woke up in the middle of the night and was looking around the room, and I noticed the television, and I glanced at it, and I could actually see what was on it. It was like a little small 12-inch, 13-inch TV. I grabbed the, the, the TV on the boom, and I brought it down in front of me, and I looked at it, and I said, my God, I can see television, and I yelled it out. And the nurse come running in, she goes, what's going on? I said, I can see television. I said, God gave me my eyes to see television. It was like unbelievable. Everybody's just going, I, we've never seen anything like that before. Yeah, I said, well, and that was you could probably miracle. write a book about the miracles yes. here. Uh, sure. I know one of the things I noted, uh, uncommon peace and joy oh, yes. in your heart. I laid in that hospital bed for nine weeks, and every day I woke, it was like, okay, another day, I can get through this. And then it was like, I, I'm not this, I'm not that way. I'm a pretty, uh, um, impatient person at times, or I have been in the past, I should say, and I wanted things to move along faster, but God gave me such a peace to just deal with the situation that I was facing. And every day, I would just be so thankful in my heart that he had spared my life, mm. because I knew that there was a reason for this. I knew that I would be able to enjoy my grandchildren, who are just the most we have a picture in our, in our, of your two in, precious in our, in our grandchildren yeah, here. Well, here's the whole family. Yeah, they're pretty special. Our two sons and daughter-in-laws and my oldest son, that's my um, granddaughter, Sydney. She was born on our 30th anniversary. She'll be five in September. What a nice present. Yeah. There are those precious, well, a little boy and a little girl yes. for you. Yeah. Yeah. And they have, of course, the whole family's been part of this incredible journey but the grandchildren have played a very special role yeah sydney Aww. especially we've we were very close from the time that she was old enough to know grandpa and one of our favorite things to do was to color and i had to teach her how to color 